political man. Uh, Taoiseach, today the Minister for Health will hold briefings on the rollout of the Compassionate Access Programme for people who will uh, need cannabis-based oil for medical and clinical purposes. And I want to commend Deputy Gino Kenny and many others who have been campaigning for this, and indeed the Minister for Health who took this issue on board and has progressed the issue. Deputy Kenny raised an issue in this chamber a number of weeks ago in relation to a Wadford family, the Stevens family, and a young girl, Cassie, whose parents have to import cannabis-based oil into Ireland. They have to travel to uh, Holland, purchase the oil and pay for the costs of the uh, flights and so on and bring it back. There are one of 21 families that have a licence to do so, supported by the consultant in University Hospital Wadford and her GP. She uh, gets a lot of seizures, but the seizures have reduced as a consequence of the treatments that she gets because of the cannabis oil. It's one of a number of treatments, but it complements all the other treatments that she gets. But they haven't been reimbursed one single cent. Four families have been of the 21, but this family have not. They've spent €9,000 so far, can't afford to spend any more, they're borrowing money. So can I ask you to personally look into this issue and see what can be done to support this family? I welcome the moves that have been made by the Minister for Health today, but this is a family who needs support, and I would ask you to personally intervene if you can to ensure that they get the reimbursement so they feel that they are due. Uh, uh, thanks, Deputy. You, you'll appreciate the limitations I'm under when it comes to responding to an individual case, and uh, I imagine you are aware that it would be illegal for me to make a direction to the HSC, or for the Minister Rod to make a direction to the HSC with regard to any particular individual case. Uh, but there is a re reimbursement system in place, and, and I'm advised that the following steps uh, have to be completed uh, when it comes to reimbursement. Uh, first, the patient has to, be, has to be satisfied that all therapeutic options have been exhausted and is prepared to accept responsibility for the monitoring of the patient's response, uh, any side effects, etc. A prescriber applies to the Minister for a ministerial licence. Um, the consultant completes an individual reimbursement form setting out the therapeutic benefit for the benefit. Uh, this has to be completed in sufficient detail for the therapeutic benefit to be de de demonstrated. Uh, thereafter, an individual reimbursement form is considered by the Me Medicines Management Programme, the MMP. On review of the documentation, the MMP makes a recommendation for or against reimbursement for the patient, the HSC, uh, under the patient's eligibility and informs the primary care reimbursement service of that recommendation. So that's the process by which somebody can apply to have uh, their medicine reimbursed. Uh, again, I can't say why in any individual case um, uh, a recommendation might be refused, um, uh, but I hope that's of some help to the deputy.